Mason, Mark Scriver and Andrew Westwood are pioneers of whitewater canoeing. They all started out by canoe tripping with their families, but they've taken canoeing to a different level and have pushed forward the limits of what can be done in an open boat. They've written books, made DVDs, taught classes and designed smaller and more robust canoes. And most of all, they've been out there doing it for years, trying new moves, nailing new lines and in Mark's case, becoming world freestyle champion. I'm Paul Mason. Uh, I've been canoeing since I was one day old. I don't think I was a really strong paddler at one, but when my dad did the series of Path of the Paddle canoe films, I developed skills. Creaking lines where you have big drop and substantial carnage if you screw it up definitely give me butterflies. My main coping strategy is eat a lot because I find there's less room in my stomach for the butterflies. I kid you not. I'm a cartoonist. That's what I'm supposed to be doing well, today but I'm out here getting new material. I find that a lot of my paddling buddies very inspirational. My name is Andrew Westwood. I've been canoeing for about 20 years now. I really love moving water and the challenge of, of reading the water. It kind of takes canoeing to uh, another level. I also like constructing. I have a real passion for trying to share the, uh, the art of canoeing. I really get a charge out of watching students as they acquire those skills and basically take up a love of the sport. I'm Mark Scriver and I started off flat water solo paddling and canoe tripping with Paul and a bunch of other guys. We just sort of figured things out as we went. We started doing harder and harder white water. The boats started getting shorter and shorter. Ended up paddling with kayakers from time to time and trying to follow the same lines that they were doing. Mark is a real unique character, I think, in the, the whitewater canoeing scene. We witness his, his skill going down a river, and we call it the Mark Effect. He makes things look ridiculously easy sometimes, and it's deceptive. After we watch him go down a river, we uh, think, okay, well that looked easy, and we, we go and give it a try. And sometimes the outcome isn't quite as pretty. 